girls can ball too. Get it quick! Uh, so no sting is just a different ball type. It's a lot smaller. Um, it, you can't pinch it. You have to throw open. It's a lot lighter. Uh, you play on smaller courts. Um, some people are really good at it and pick it up really well, but I, since I started with pinch and did that so much, I struggle with it a little bit. But girls who have only done that are really good at it. Um, and a lot of the guys are really good at it too, who play with like USAD doing it. But um, it's a lot different than pinch. Honestly, I think the biggest thing um, about, you know, why I'm still in this sport is just uh, the growth of the women's division and having a lot of women competitors and friends and building out that community. I think that's what's really pushed me to stay. I love dodgeball because it's just competitive and I'm way too competitive for my own good, but it's just a great sport to kind of come into um, to really like work on a skill set. Like it's not like an intramural where you're just kind of there having fun. Like people really care about getting better. People really care about improving um, and people take it seriously. So it's a good recreational sport, but it's not easy. Um, and I personally love the challenge of playing against a lot of guys who I know are stronger than me. Um, so I think that that's something that I really like, but I love the people. I have a lot of friends on other teams. Um, and as I've kind of progressed through the league, I've been able to meet more and more people. So it just, yeah, it's cool when you get to go to a tournament and hang out with people who don't usually get to see that often, so. When I came to Kent State University, I said, I'm going to play the most unorthodox sport I could find. And when I found that there was a dodgeball club, I was like, yes, this is perfect for me. I love playing the sport before. And then coming in and seeing how much strategy you could, you could actually put into the game, I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So just being able to be competitive in it, when like you can play for a national championship, like there's so many things that you can do just playing dodgeball. And I think it's actually been better for me personally, because when I'm in school and things are getting tough, I just know I can lean on dodgeball to help me de-stress and get me back on track. So I love the sport for that reason. Yeah, uh, honestly, there are a lot of hurdles with women's involvement. Um, I think the first, the big thing is, is women actually getting play time. Um, so captains just need to keep in mind that, you know, they're coming into the sport, they're new too. Um, and the best experience is tournaments. So get them that experience during the season. Nationals is a different story. Um, you want to, you know, play your best, and sometimes that's your veterans. Um, yeah. I think my advice for a woman who's like wanting to start into the league, whether that be yeah, start a team or join a team, um, first and foremost, don't be scared of it. Um, know that it's gonna hurt, but that's part of the fun. Um, I think second, yeah, that male, that female perspective is just very unique. We think differently than men. Um, no offense, but yeah, women just, I feel like tend to kind of, we look more at the details sometimes and I feel like we're also really good at connecting with people and when you're trying to start a club, you need people who are going to bring people in. Um, yeah, don't be scared of it. The women are growing in this league. The women are like very unified in this league. Um, so yeah, it's a great network of people to be with. So yeah, I would definitely say go for it. Awesome. Sweet. Well done. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Um, I guess just biggest piece of advice for women, um, just kind of going back to the fact that this sport is new for everyone. Um, you're not gonna get a pinch throw down in like a week, so just stick with it. Um, you'll start to develop those skills and you'll make some really good friends along the way too. I see more and more women joining because they have more avenues to play. Um, I know we couldn't get it off the ground that much this year, but just having the BG Women's Tournament was amazing. Just seeing all the women come together and play. So being able to have multiple tournaments each season where you can just go off, you don't even have to be with your main team. You can go off and play no sting, you can play pinch. You might get some cloth going somewhere down the line. So I just think adding ball types and other avenues for women to come and play really encourages them knowing that, hey, maybe I'm not good at this, but I can also do this. There's more than one option, you know? So I just like having that um, availability to decide what you want to do this is not nothing's forced on you so you have to you have the choice um the future of the league for girls i don't know it's it's kind of confusing now with adding in the um no staying and that kind of women's divisions when a lot of us prefer to play pinch co-ed 
even playing pinch with just girls sometimes isn't that fun because some of them prefer to play no sting and it's obvious when like you're playing with people who like don't want to be playing pinch so we uh, definitely a lot of us want to keep playing with the boys and just co-ed with the uh pinch so i don't know and uh you know we a lot of the like michigan state girls they're really good at no sting and they want to do that and then some of the midwest girls like we prefer or like ohio girls we prefer to do the pinch and we want to stick with that so i think there definitely needs to be a little bit more communication and trying to figure stuff out because there's definitely a lot of different things that the girls want so what is your thing is you can just kill the clock Yes, girl, women can be a vital part of the game, and I think some teams fail to realize that, but they can help out a lot, even if it's in a leadership position. You know, they can do things, they can help the team out, they can play, they always have something to contribute. So I think the more that we realize that, the more it, the league will be better off and the more inclusive it'll be uh, in the end.